Let's try it, see if it happens anywhere. Nope, it won't happen at the side. You have to come around to the front of the building, like right here, and mash L3, and it pulls it up. Sheep are $4,000 a piece. They, um, it does not tell how much. I don't know if you sell them for four thousand or you can only buy them for four thousand. Cows are five thousand. Um, and the pigs are three thousand. Um, that's really all we can establish there. So three thousand dollars a piece. Four thousand dollars a piece. I have I have heard I don't know how true it is, but I have heard that pigs reproduce faster than sheep and cattle. That's actually the only way to make money off pigs is to. Um, sell the piglets oh I I never do those things that's that's cheating that's like buying something at the store that requires assembly and you read the instructions nobody does that shit um, first thing you do when you buy something is throw the instructions away that's that's the man's way. Um. Okay, this just uses a regular corn harvester to do the soybeans, the sunflowers. I've never actually harvested any, that's why I was wanting to harvest, just to see what it was like. Whoa, she's giving me an hour to do it. So hopefully this job is going to really pay a lot of money. This might actually be the last job that I do for the day. Yeah, um, unless it's Legos. Legos, I've read the instructions for before and I still couldn't figure them out. My, my, my trains and people and spaceships and shit, they always turn out looking like a bunch of blocks that some idiot stamped together that didn't know what the fuck he was doing. So they never looked like a spaceship or they look like some shit some idiot put together, you know. <laughs> <laughs> this field should really pay good. I've got to remember where this field is at. I certainly don't have time to, uh, I, I don't know. Um, I, I do have to be off here by 8 o'clock so I can um, watch farms, so I can watch um, Survivor, American TV. Um, We'll see how late it is. The wife actually brought us home some, some um, sandwiches for dinner. I don't know what you guys call them in your part of the world. Here we call them grinders. Down south we call them submarine sandwiches. Some people call them hoagies. Uh, some people probably just call them sandwiches. <laughs>
Yeah, um, that would be two of you here then, because Smokey is as well. Um, I actually hit the jackpot. The wife also brought me a big giant bag of Jolly Ranchers for my throat. Yeah, you would call them subs, okay. Yeah, it's just a big long, like a foot long sandwich that, um, well, mine is going to have roast beef, lettuce, tomato, pickles, onions. Oh, she didn't get no onions on them, okay. Banana peppers. Probably some oil and vinegar, um, stuff like that on it. I'm gonna say some places in the states call them submarines, subs. Some call them grinders. Some call them hoagies. Um, the thing that Subway sells. That's the best way to describe them. I don't know if Subway is actually in the British market or not. Um, yeah, boy. <laughs> I stay away from them peppers since that Amish woman sold me hot peppers. I stay away from that shit. It's about putting me in the fucking hospital with them goddamn peppers. <laughs> okay, so you know what I'm talking about then. That's what's for dinner. These are not actually from Subway. Um, we don't go to Subway. These, these are actually from a little family-owned deli. And they have like three times the shit on them that Subway has. I'm not sure if anybody has actually harvested this field down here at Mary's Farm yet or not. If you haven't, don't. <laughs> it's fucking huge. Ah, I live very near Bristol. I'm like a 20 minute ride from Bristol. Bristol, Connecticut, of course. I'm sure you guys know ESPN. Um, that's what Bristol, Connecticut is famous for. We are the worldwide headquarters of ESPN. Yep. It's actually named after Bristol in the UK. Um, when the colonists came over, they uh,
they kept a lot of the British names. Just a, just a word of advice, um, if the Taco Bells in the UK or anything like the Taco Bells in America, um, be close to what you guys would refer to as the Lou, within about 30 minutes after eating them, because they will clean you out. <laughs> Taco Bell is famous for that in the state. Okay, D.O. Bot. Um, timers. This one's got to go. Commands. Um, That one's got to go. Okay, Theo Bot will quit bothering us about when we get our new farms. This farm is, this, this field is really pushing the limits here. Still got a long way to go. Yep, there are, well, I know of two Bristols. There's a Bristol, Connecticut which is where ESPN is at. There's also a Bristol, Tennessee, which is home of a famous NASCAR racetrack. Those are the only two that I know. I'm sure there are more. Um, the town I live in is actually called New Britain, New Britain, the colonists who settled in our little area were real creative. No, I'm going to eat it. Oh yeah, um, that's a nice little racetrack. Um, I always wanted to go to that. I don't keep up with NASCAR anymore, but I, I certainly would not mind going to the track. I always thought that would be a cool little experience. Didn't live very far from it when I lived in North Carolina. It was probably about a four or five hour drive. Seems odd somebody from Wisconsin would come all the way to uh, Tennessee, though. It seems like seems like Kansas or something would be even Chicago land, or seems like that would be the pick for people in Wisconsin. But what the hell do I know? <laughs> <laughs> 